so hello everybody welcome back to SV's passion so today we are going to harvest our beans so these plants these are the bush variety so last year you would have seen in my videos so we had the climber ones so they need support to move on climbing and then it grows you need a lot of space so if you have a small space and you like to grow beans I would suggest this variety so it doesn't climb anywhere it is just this tall that's it so even just one or two branches may slightly climb but otherwise it stays as a bush so every plant so I have about five plants here so this is one and then we have some here and we have a plant here and I have two more here so we have all the beans only here so it doesn't grow anywhere so this is a bush variety so if you have lack of space I would highly recommend uh, this variety to be planted so let's see how many beans we have today so all these plants um, I had uh, sown the seeds during the Mother's Day weekend so in about um, I guess about two months um, I have this harvest not even two months about one and a half months so since it's a bush variety all the um, beans are under the leaves so nothing is seen outside so you have to literally lift the plant up to see if there are any beans on the underside so they are all in bunches and um, if you have the right amount of nutrition for the plant there are a lot of um, uh, flowers and every time you pick your beads readily the next set of uh, flowers are ready so you see there is a continuous supply of beans throughout your summer and not a very difficult plant to grow but um, as the temperature might become hotter you might see um, Japanese battle invading this plant it doesn't I have not seen in my garden I have seen the Japanese beetle only attacking the bean plant I don't know why uh, they are too much attracted to the beans so that's the only trouble I have with this plant otherwise it grows it doesn't need much of uh, uh, attention every day so once you give it the right amount of compost and um, good soil and a proper support to grow on you don't have much trouble with this but uh, once the summer starts kicking in and really getting hot you will see the uh, if you have Japanese beetle infestation in your area then definitely you will have trouble from those beetles so the only remedy for those Japanese beetles is um, a bowl of uh, soapy water a regular dish soap will do so you have to fill a bowl with a soapy water and just hand pick them and drop them into the um, soap solution you have no other option if you need to have an organic garden so you can't spray any pesticide and as far as I know uh, these pesticides don't work with the Japanese beetle they are like a, um, the worst enemy you can have in your garden they literally eat up the leaves and just leave skeletons behind so you would have seen my last year's video we had we did have um, these japanese beetles and uh, i had a climbing variety and uh, completely all my leaves were eaten up so uh, it is like a, it becomes like a routine every day morning so those beetles um, they do their worst in the morning that's when the sun uh, becomes hot so in the morning and in the evening they do the maximum damage so every day morning before the um, the sun raises overhead uh, you can just come and pick them up by hand definitely you would find about 
10 to 20 beetles from your plants easily and then pick them up by hand and put them in the water the soapy water that's the only way you can kill them and even though you pick them up and then after five minutes you come back and see you're still going to see um, bunches of beetles on your plants so we have to fight a battle against them to safeguard our plants So since I was on vacation for a week, more than a week, so I have good amount of uh, beans on my plants today and uh, these plants need regular uh, watering so when the temperature is hot make sure you don't neglect your plants you have to water them regularly to have a good harvest so just in two plants i have got um, this much so this is the whole plant size this is the plant here i'm not able to show on camera it's all completely covered yeah you see this is the main stem so the whole plant is only this much but there is a lot of beans on this plant so each plant is having about um, 15 to 20 beans in them. Okay, so we are done with uh, two plants now. Let's see what do we have in our third plant. So this is my third one here. This is the main stem of the third plant. So you can see, oh my god, the leaves are really so big and hiding all my beans. So you can see those beans here in the bunches. So you can even use, uh, you can either snip it off with your hand or you can even use your scissors um, to take up the beans. Sometimes these are very tender beans. So when you try to snip them off, sometimes the edges get um, broken like this. So you may use a scissor too. It will be handy. Or if you have garden clippers, you can use them. So each bunch has about five. And when the summers um, and the temperatures are picking up and it's really hot um, I advise you to pick up your beans early don't leave it on because it's going to mature very soon so it will become hard and fibrous so picking it up on time will help the plant um, make more flowers and uh, more beans in turn and this is our fourth plant here so here you can see all the bunches of beans. So every branch will have a bunch like this. have any more let's see yeah you have oh my god there is lots here at the back too
so lift up the leaves to find your beans most of them are camouflaged under the leaves and you will not have a hard time going around because they are all in bunches together so this, we are done with four plants now I have the fifth plant here So these are the new flowers coming up. Here I have a lot of flowers still more. So keep them in a sunny spot and uh, you are sure to get a lot of uh, beans. Beans need a lot of sun and uh, every day you need to look at your planter. See if there are any weeds growing in. Otherwise, they are going to take up all the nutrition that your beans need to grow. So, that's it we have for the beans today. We have harvested all of our beans. And I have got quite a bunch of beans today. I guess it should be more than um, half, L, uh, half kg, I guess not bad and here is our pea plant I haven't harvested uh, much of peas this time um, the thing is uh, we had a lot of uh, rains heavy rain and uh, there was water logging in this planter oh, sorry about that that's my neighbors uh, puppy there so the pea plant, uh, the major problem is it doesn't need much water and needs good drainage. Too much of water will cause this yellowing. So I lost some five or six plants uh, because of this water logging. Too much of rain, and um, it did, I couldn't drain the water, and the planter was too much uh, filled with water and overflowing from the top, and that's the reason I couldn't harvest much peas but um, i try to drain as much as i could and try to save these plants so still i have about um, 10 to 15 plants here but the problem is if we have unwanted rains at the wrong time the wrong season it's trouble for the plants so peas need a cool climate so when the right uh, spring season if it's going to rain abruptly the pea plants will find it hard to grow so That's the problem, but still I have some peas here uh, But the thing is because uh, it didn't have a proper growing season um, The size of the peas are a little smaller but Still I'm having flowers in them I'm getting a lot of flowers so I don't know this fingers crossed hopefully I get at least a small harvest but still we can grow them again in, um, in the fall so, so those who are interested in growing a fall crop of the green peas you can sow the seeds in um, August uh, if we need just we just need 30 days for a pea harvest so even if you grow in um, September or August, you can still harvest them by September uh, and so mid-August when the temperatures have uh, become cooler, you can just sow your peas again. So in 30 days, you can take your harvest. So here we have our peas. So hopefully I'm planning to sow another batch in um, August so let's see before that I need space for my new plants my garden is almost full now with plants 
um, I need to make space and then I'm planning to uh, make a second sewing in uh, for the fall so pea needs a cold climate um, so fall and the spring is the best season for the peas there are some summer varieties which you can have peas all throughout the summer so if you happen to buy the peas just make sure you um, read the labels and uh, find out what kind of um, variety it is whether it's it can tolerate the sun or not some are specifically spring varieties they cannot grow in the hot sun pea, pea itself is actually a cold season crop but there are some hybrid varieties now available in the market which can um, tolerate the sun but the thing is the cold season will help us get a good um, plump looking piece than in the summer in summer the plant growth will get stunted the leaves don't grow see this is the actual size of the leaf but when it's too hot or the, there is too much of water the leaves grow go small like this so we need a good um, fresh looking leaves so some plants they can tolerate the heat and they do grow well so this is the actual size of the piece so as I told you because of too much of water logging in my planter box uh, some of my plants just um, stopped growing to all together they didn't grow at all and they turned yellow so the base of my plants were yellow so somehow I drained all the water and uh, tried to save my plants and now they are uh, okay they're doing okay now and I'm having some peace so I'm happy I didn't lose my plants. So, so uh, when you start gardening, you have to constantly monitor the plants, see what's happening with them and try to uh, find a solution or a fix before they completely uh, die. So good that I noticed why it was yellowing and then uh, I uh, drained out the water. So at least I will get a handful of peas this is this season. And you can leave one or two peas in the pot itself so you can plant it again. And peas are easily available so um, even in the market even if this uh, planting season is gone past still you will find uh, peas almost everywhere the pea seeds some even some dollar stores uh, carry seeds and you will easily find the peas so if you missed planting during the uh, spring season do give it a try in the fall it is the easiest crop you can grow so even for beginners it's very easy to grow the pea crop you don't need much of um, uh, care or anything so let's go on the other side see to see if I have more peas so this trellis I just got in the dollar store so these are really good so it just costed about three dollars I just put uh, three trellis because this is not going to the pea plant is not very heavy just a very light climber so these three um, trellis will help to hold the plant so this is the actual size of the piece. So if, the, if there's good watering and not much of heat, um, this size you should be able to get. So some of the plants, these uh, the plants on the uh, right side have grown good. Only on the left side, uh, it is a stunted growth. Okay, so hope you enjoyed my harvest. Uh, stay tuned with my channel to see uh, what I harvest more. So right now my peppers are growing. I have my brinjals, tomatoes and um, uh, bell peppers. So I have uh, different varieties of bell peppers this time. I have um, uh, yellow peppers, I have banana peppers, I have capsicum and also green chilies. So stay tuned to see how those plants are growing. Thank you.